Well, the uh, the AI fund uh, get back to work here, basically uh, working on uh, more level design for Chroma Circuit. Uh, so. Yeah, I have been. Uh, I took a screenshot uh, in Unreal, and I am. Uh, I'm drawing over it to figure out what details I want to add and exactly like what assets I'm going to use um, to make that happen. And um, you can see here, I have like a really rough, super rough gray box mock-up of this world. You've got a got people going upside down. Um, just trying to figure out, you know, what's fun uh, or not, and um, so yeah, this is just like you know one of the one of the screenshots of said said world. So uh, so yes. Um, so yeah, I'll be focusing uh, most of my time in, uh, in here. So one of the things I'm working on is like a these types of like artificial plants they're like these like flexible solar panel kind of things it's a common theme in uh, in in this world and in my design language in general let me know if you have any uh, questions about the project Sure, I'm on the right layer here. Uh oh, I am not. So this is a really good technique um, by uh, by doing. Uh, by doing drawings over top of, of screenshots, I am able to um, to really kind of get the best of both worlds. I don't let the 3D tool kind of rule me. Um, so uh, I won't be on here uh, very long. I have a uh, meeting soon, uh, but about 45 minutes or so, or 50. Uh, So right now I'm figuring out some uh, basic geometry to put in the back. I'm trying to, to let the back, I'm trying to design the background at the same time that I design the content. Um, And uh, I'm thinking about like different railing designs right now. I kind of want to do this kind of uh, use uh, mapped planes, do this kind of like fish fin, fin, crenulation kind of thing. Uh, so I can do this without using a bunch of extra geometry, which is nice. I want these to be these sort of, um, to look almost like these big uh, flower pots. Ostensibly, you're maybe storing power here that's being generated in these, uh, these, big, uh, these big leaves. We have some more coming off of the side that are like kind of going over, over the track. I want it to look kind of uh, 
a little bit chaotic. Maybe, maybe they look like they're kind of like uh, rotating around and like you know, maybe whipping around in multiple directions. Maybe I make this thing look a little bit hollow, um, so you can see some kind of a cylinder inside. It really kind of depends on uh, how much people will be able to see this. I mean, so like, example, like, so we're still playing with the camera angle, but it's actually kind of low. So I guess, but you know, yeah, you, you would be able to see inside of here pretty well. It helps to actually like have a mock-up of the game when, uh, when doing this type of designing refining work. I, I really enjoy going back and forth. Uh, between 2D and 3D, and uh, the seamlessly one can do it the better. I'm going for these like things that look almost like stingrays, and uh, also playing around with like. more interesting fern. My, my next uh, procedural goal is to be able to generate uh, ferns that morph as the uh, fronds go up the, uh, the stem. So it's just some like simple parameter changes. Kind of set a minimum diameter and a maximum diameter, and just tell the software to like divide that by the number of fronds, and make that the the intervals, and just gradually uh, morph between the two, uh, both shapes and sizes. I'm going with something pretty basic here for now. I may I may play around with it though. I guess I can I can duplicate and see. Uh, Maybe I'll actually connect the. I'll do something that you don't normally see in nature, like two connected leaves sharing a stem. You pretty much never see that. It's just not really how plants grow. And so this kind of is a subtle cue that this is not not your uh, not a real plant. Although the uh, colors are going to make that very obvious.
Yeah, something maybe kind of like that. I always like the idea of kind of like the, the, the peacock feather motif. I, uh, I use that a lot uh, with looking at maybe doing like a more annoyed tessellation stained glass kind of situation with a lot of these. The idea of having like colorful transparent solar panels is uh, very appealing. I just have to be able to keep this kind of thing pretty low poly, so you know, each leaf would probably be like, you know, pretty simple. Probably just ideally only like six tries. I actually could do it with five. Something like that. Do I want uh, do I want uh, convex kind of crenulations or concave? I do think concave would probably look better in this, even though I've been using it a lot. Uh, I kind of want to do. I could alternate them, I suppose. That actually looks bad. Get rid of that. Sometimes the uh, the tried and true method is uh, the way to go. So in this transition point, I don't know if I want to spend any extra geometry or not. So technically, um, I should have a double-sided railing. Because what's happening right now... Actually, this is a double-sided railing. Yeah, that's right. That's why it's so big. Okay, so... I just realized I have I've made a mistake here. I still have saved an old version of this, but... Yeah, the, uh, the road actually uh, moves through this railing. Forgot I made it double-sided. So yeah, I'm going to erase all this and basically make this a somewhat symmetrical road to account for the fact that people are
something more like that. Okay, that makes a lot more sense given the scale of everything. I remember thinking that was off. It's almost look a little bit like eyes. I want to do this kind of a uh, turbulence texture on the road. It's got to be subtle though because uh, players will be painting the road. And so you got to make sure that they will be able to see their paint properly and that they will not confuse any of the road patterns with that. So it's just going to be a very subtle texture. I like the idea of this uh, whole thing being pretty shiny. This here is going to be sort of like the brush. This is going to be like uh, the uh, some, like the off road, the thing that slows players down. Um, this kind of so they can go up, they can go up a ramp here. Uh, they go off and then land into the, uh, the stuff that slows you down, but the faster they are when they go up this ramp, the better chance they can hit the other side without going through the slow stuff as much. And uh, the slow stuff will like kick up particles. Imagine it being like a flower bed, kind of. Okay, only you have like these kind of circular flower beds with this much larger kind of mandel bulb kind of a, uh, kind of a structure I have, a, I have a neat way of making all these off-road areas, but yeah, you cannot paint on these areas. There, there, there's something that um, I kind of want to avoid. Although I do kind of like the idea of putting paint pickups on them. And maybe I could put a little paint pickup. I originally wanted the paint pickups to be these kind of like, they're like these bundles of particles. They don't look that look that much right here, but they will. <laughs> it's pretty hard to do concept art for this kind of a look. There's a lot of like little crunchy complexity, a lot of particles, all this stuff. We're just doing a bunch of dots, and certainly with this with this brush. It's not very like easy to do. I've been uh, lagging behind on some of the necessary concept art just because it's such... If it was like a normal type world, that would uh, definitely be easier to draw when you have forms that are solid and top-down manufactured and like make more sense. <laughs>
think I'm going to play with, uh, I guess I could call it positive and negative uh, crenulations. Although it has the risk of looking like, you know, a gingerbread cottage kind of a, a look. Trying to get some kind of level of consistency across all the railings. All of these will be mapped with UVs. Yeah, I kind of like that look. today. I kind of like the idea of having very subtle, very like low contrast art that's um, along these roads that sort of looks like you're racing on mural art and like painting over it. Uh, as long as it's not too hard to see the paint. Uh, I'm hoping to make the paint emissive so it glows a little bit. playing around with the art here and I'll, I'll definitely like render that out in the concept just to see like how well that works.
Yeah, that could be a fun thing. You're like racing over art. It's definitely an art game. This is a little uh, central ramp thing that I'm still trying to figure out how I want to color in the middle here. So I'm gonna have to get going pretty soon here. Got around like 10 minutes left. Uh, but I would like to color this soon and like uh, figure out materials and effects and stuff like that. So I may do that offline. I may do that on stream at some point. kind of playing with different railing designs which I hope to handle uh, procedurally. As you can see, I jump around a lot. <sighs> Trying to figure out how I how to best do this uh, this shape. Feels too mosaic y and disjointed right now. Oh. Oh, I'm yawning like crazy. Doing some rough designs of like different ways the leaves could go. <sighs> I 
I could make a whole sheet full of these. There we go. That's much cleaner now. Hmm, let's see. Yeah, this will have been a pretty quick stream today, but uh, I feel like I've made some design decisions. I've uh, made some progress. And yeah, um, yeah, uh, thank you everybody who stopped in. Uh, this will be available on recording. And um, yeah, have a great day. Bye.